Happy first day of summer, y'all, if you're an anime fan. And what's being the last show I have to cover? Happy last day of spring. What's good, y'all? You may be Master Sir here. You're the Master Knight's other round table. Come to you and subscribe to this bit. And we are here with that Hell's Paradise season finale. Not like almost every other anime this season. Season 2 got announced. Yes, Map is going to be continuing this. And when I seen that this announcement happened, everybody was complaining how Chainsaw Man didn't get the announcement, but this show did. There's levels to the game, yo. Jujutsu Kaisen is coming back this week. Or is it next week? Map is working, alright? Now, with this being the first show I actually covered during the spring, how you guys like the front? Due to that one week break <laughs> that the show had to take, and also have it being another show this season with 13 episodes, first come, last to leave. Hell's their paradise, but then that work. And I have to say it like that, quite frankly, because really, since I've also been reviewing finales, trying to put finales in certain places, this is one of those finales that feel like we got the most done. Yet still very much setting up next season. Like, first and foremost, we beat one of the Tenzin. Goddamn. Ain't gonna hold you, I didn't see that coming. And then, segueing easy into the next season with a new conflict, the subject of Gabi Maru. That just started the end of the episode, right? But let's talk about it. As you see here, right when she put on new clothes, that it's more revealing than what she already had. All the titties still there, and that was her bedroom. Mind you, once again, we didn't get to see that when she took a bath, so this is the first time we've seen that stomach. I was talking about Gabi Maru. Gabi Maru, <laughs> he basically is getting amnesia. He does not remember anything. He doesn't remember who the people are he's surrounded right now. Only thing he remembers is that he is coming by with the hollow. However, apparently what been put in his mind this whole time, not 100% certain, no spoilers, but it was suggested by Yuzahia that it was just planted into him by the village chief. And very possibly that his memories aren't real. Very possibly his ambition and his goals are not real. Meaning very possibly his wife isn't real. Now, the flow of Tao, this movement of waves, as Shino called it, that alone was enough of an introduction into the series to try to drive this series into something else and that could carry it for the rest of the show. And apparently I was wrong because apparently this show is done. And that show, the manga is done, 170 something chapters, and we only covered like 30 something chapters so far. But you're telling me we're going into the next season but very possibly thinking that the goal itself that we have right here wasn't real either? Kind of like the elixir of life. Now, bullshit. It doesn't really break down the show for me, honestly. I, it doesn't really take away anything from the show as the show has been so far. However, bro, it's like, for real? You mean all the goals that we had this first season, it, it just nothing else? I mean, if you put it on the table with the tens and trying to kill everybody and we get turned into trees and shit, yeah, the end goal ultimately is to get off the island alive. Yes, Sagri, you're right. However, damn, no elixir, no wife, don't remember what the fuck. <laughs> Once again, not 100% certain, but got me right down, bro. You, you, <laughs> like, bro, you kind of <laughs> kind of let me down, got me right. Now, when it comes to the whole thing with the possibility of all that being fake, all I'm gonna say is this: in reality, I think it's real. Because here's the thing, right? First and foremost, it only going based off what other people have said. I haven't heard nothing from the horse's mouth yet. Gabi Maru is right now in the state of Indonesia, so he can't remember what he remembers is even real or not, <laughs> let alone even know what the truth of what could possibly be true or false at the time. I have to wait for him to get his memories back and then he'll probably know all the answers. I actually kind of feel the same way about the list of life, because you know, it was kind of just told by us that by one of the Tenzin who already had planned to kill us. He could have easily been bullshitting this whole time just to cover up his own secrets. I ain't forget about that pot all y'all had drunk out of a few episodes ago. I'm still wondering about that. May that be the elixir of life. You're gonna have to tell me what that was. So yes, I guess all of that speculation set just to be like, wait till season two, right? By the way, season two just got announced. I don't know there was a date for it yet. I kinda just skipped through Twitter. I, I did it actually. Now, the accomplishment when it comes to this finale, once again, BB one of the Tenzin, we got him. Blind Nick Samurai himself, Shion, with the help of uh <laughs> spit liquid cover, whatever, saliva, whatever you wanna call it. <laughs> Sagari. Damn, what's the other girl's name? Damn, I forgot. Nah, I ain't doing this no more. That we got. That, that, that we got. her name. And yes, her. Use a hero. Her. With a short ass. Who's taller? Nugget or the other girls? May. Think May is still growing. She used to be a grown ass woman before she got attacked. But that's what I was saying about the Tenzin. Basically, we figured out how to beat them. Even Senta, who has yet to die. Well, he did die eventually. But he didn't die when we thought he did. He pretty much was still here for the duration of the episode, telling us about the weak spot. She and I already having an idea of what Tao is before even knowing it was Tao just because he's that guy. 
And that's not anime convenience. We have seen the proof in this man before this episode, so don't ever try that. And when it comes to the flow of everything, when it comes to your senses being heightened when you lose a sense, honestly, the blind guy being the, mo the guy the most figuring it out, honestly makes sense. To me, anyways, I don't know how you feel. And with the help of everybody, I would say without help for using here, because she didn't feel like fighting, but she's the only reason we the block attacks in the first place. We finally beat one of the Tenzin, yes. Who apparently wanted to die? Wasn't outright said, but they but they said thank you. They felt relieved that they were waiting for thousands of years. Then I got the same time, this is the Tenzin. How many times did we think they was already dead? Damn, we gotta wait, we got we gotta wait till season two for that one too, huh? Is he actually dead? Shit. So hard to kill a plant these days. Thanks, Bash Stampede. Appreciate it. I just spoiled a triangle just now. I watched the original Trigun when the new one came out, and then I watched the new one. If you haven't watched it yet, it's your fault. Think of the season twos that's announced this year. Has anime become easier to make? Wait, anime is not getting paid right still, huh? Never mind. I got off track so much in this review. When it comes to the whole thing about, you know, we already know Gabi Mao has a legion with his group, so that's gonna be the main thing over there. And you got a sight clip with the brothers. The brothers are still roaming around, and, it, and, one, and the one of the brothers still got all that stuff on their neck. Now, there was mentioned in this episode how, you know, with the flow of Tao, if you choose it too much, it could be detrimental. Some actually suggested that you might be able to, you might be turned into a plant. Which kind of explains the second brother dude. I'm not looking up their names, y'all. Can he slowly be on his own demise? Because while he didn't actually beat a Tenzin yet, he did beat one of the soldiers, the Tenzin soldiers. He did do that much. People is getting more wins than Gabi Mara at this point. Gabi Mara, what's going on, bro? <laughs> As you know, the more I talk about it, it's just like at the point now, Yes, we did a big accomplishment in this episode, but it's one of those days where we got one question answered and I've got a thousand more. What happens if you use too much towel? What's the, is the Tenzin dead for real? What's going on with Gabi Mo? Is his whole life a lie? Is the whole point we're here a lie? The next to life. Can we even leave? Shit. Very question that's been building over this entire season, so it's not like we just all of a sudden get hit with all this stuff. It's just the fact that now that we have accomplished one goal and trying to move on to the next one, these questions can no longer be ignored. It's no longer, hey, Tenzin's here, we gotta fight. Because now we got, well, I'm not saying we're bringing the war to down, even though it's understood by somebody that we got to get off this island. Also, you know the whole conversation she was having with uh, Shion? Shion went immediately to that romantic thing. I am not one time legitimately shipped Gabi Maru and Salgari. And my reason for that so far has honestly been because Gabi Maru had a wife, but since now that's up in the air, I still don't. Oh, Sakuri, you know, it's kind of like she kind of broke down Gabi Mao's character. He was told to kill the whole time. He is a criminal, but not necessarily on his own volition. Especially since we don't even know what he is anymore. How is he still can't get that party, though, without the elixir line, though. I'm just asking more questions at this point. Damn, it might just be better off just calling y'all. <laughs> this has been eight minutes anyway, so I'll get the point. The mystery that is Hell's Paradise continues. It will return. And hopefully, we'll get some of these questions answered. They ain't gonna be all of them, I mean. Like I said, we scratched what the first 30, 40 chapters. We got 100, 170. It's gonna take a few seasons to go through this one. At the same damn time, with the way new seasons are coming right now, and mind you, I'm waiting, they're currently waiting for Golden Combo season five. I don't see any reason why Hell Paradise wouldn't be that show that could please the whole manga. Hey, hey. Bring it on. That's it, y'all. Summer's here. Let's go. If you watch this video, leave a comment and know what you think. Like this video for me. I'll see y'all. Peace out. Subscribe to this video. Mm -hmm. Should I do top five videos from the spring season?